Yeah, it's really hard to cover such distances without the Space Impaler. So, do you know where to find it, Marin? When Tarsus and Ul fought at the gates of the Citadel, I was hit and dropped the Space Impaler from my hands. Uh, did you notice where it fell? <sighs> There's an old cart located up there, behind the rotunda, right on the edge of the sheer cliff. When I lost the artifact, I only noticed that it rolled to the cart and fell down to the cliff. Let's go there and look around. That's the cart. We need to bury Uri. Well, we have to cover a huge area to find it. Shall we just push the cart off the cliff? It'll show us the exact location of the Space Impaler. Obviously, the Impaler is somewhere here. However, now it needs to be found among all this garbage. What now, Marin? And now we're going to see a friend of ours. This is a special dwarf, but no one else can help us. Where are we? I remember the body of one of the former priests of the temple rests in this sarcophagus.
Be on guard. Buldan doesn't really like guests. <clears throat> Buldan, we have come in peace. It seems that the owner is... It's a prophetic altar. If there's a missing part in it... Battle of Tarsus. There was a story. One day I'll tell you all about it. Ha! Ah, what the? My leg! What's going oh. on? You shouldn't have come to see me. I won't help you. Your friend decided to sacrifice himself. By resurrecting him, you are going to break the rules of the universe. Aha! So you're not denying the fact that he can be resurrected? Who are we talking about? Is it Fulner? We're ready to fulfill any request of yours in exchange for help, Buldan the Mighty Priest. No, we're not! You're crazy! We don't even know what he might ask in return! You think I can help you? Fools. I don't possess the knowledge required to bring Fulner back to life. Although... Hmm... Maybe this is my chance. Tell us. Tell us what you want. You are aware of the fact that Tarsuses were created by the Madmen. All of them are long dead. But their souls haven't left our world. They continue to exist in a sacred place called the City of Souls. According to rumors, it is located at the end of the Lycan Gorge. The soul of the Yudnar, the madman, can be found somewhere in that city. He is my great, 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 great... Does he know how to help us? Maybe. The problem is that I don't know what the entrance to the city looks like, or how to get into it. But that is not my problem. If you want to get some help, you need to enter the city. I'm ready. No. I know you, Susan the War Maiden. I know what tricks you are capable of. I will only release the boy. What? what? Two of you will remain my prisoners. I will let you go only when the boy brings me the soul of Yudnar. What do you want to do with your ancestor's soul? You wanted me to have all the knowledge of madmen. I want to get all the knowledge of Yudnar. Take the Space Impaler, son. Think about the door of the Temple of the Universe, and you'll be teleported there. The Gorge of Ulakans is located right underneath. There will be a rope. You can use it to climb down. Hey, this is the rope that was mentioned by my mom. Wow, I hope it's strong enough. The gorge is filled with water. I think some kind of floating device would be really useful.
I can't pass through the gorge because of the wreckage of the bridge. Uh, how am I going to get down now? There's nowhere else to sail. According to Bolden, the entrance to the City of Souls must be somewhere here.
Wow, it's possible to climb up now. Okay, I hope this is the place. So, uh, where's the city?
Oh, wow. Is this a ghost palace? Whoops. Uh, is that a door knocker? Hmm, too small if you ask me.
Hello? Anybody home?
Oh, there's a lot of things here. I wonder if there's a bell for the chapel. Oh, uh, hello everyone. My name is uh, Jim, and I'm looking for a dwarf named Yudner. Uh, does anyone here know of uh, Yudner? Hey, um, hello. Are you Yudner? Cool. Um, do you know your great, great, great... Anyway, do you know Bolden? He sends his greetings. Okay, cut to the chase. One of our friends, Dwarf Fulner, got himself in one of your titans in, um, Tara... Taras? Taras? Tarsas. Exactly, yes, thank you. Um, and at a critical moment when the destiny of the Lost Lands was at stake, he sacrificed himself for the sake of its well-being. Uh, but I'm sure he would never agree to live in the body of a titan forever if someone asked him before all this happened. You said our friend. Who else is asking for the dwarf? Uh, many people are waiting for his return. He's, he's really important for the mage Marin and my mother Susan. Hmm. Susan the War Maiden. The one we predicted would come. Please? So be it. Listen to me carefully. The son of the War Maiden. Tarsus has to have a soul every single moment in time. You need to find another soul that will substitute Falner in the body of the Titan. I'm ready to be that soul. To me, it is better to live forever in Tarsus's body than to vegetate in this closed city. There is a manuscript of knowledge in the Ghost Palace. You can use it to read about the resurrection ritual. However, you need to find a yellow plate to make that. Try to look for it at the waterfall. You can reach it by going to the right from the statues of Madman.
I need to find a yellow plate somewhere here. There it is. This is the Manuscript of Knowledge. It contains the knowledge accumulated by the Mad Men during the process of Five Worlds' creation. Each knowledge requires a special plate. I was the keeper of the Elemental Horns when I was alive. After my death, the Horns were passed down to my descendants, from generation to generation. It means that Bolden has the horns now. That's right. Don't forget that you also need my body for the ritual. I know it's not really pleasant, but one lock of my hair will be more than enough. It's Jim. Did you make it, son? Well, did you succeed? I found the City of Souls. Now I need the so-called Elemental Horn for the ritual, and a uh, lock of your ancestor's hair. Well, if that's what it takes, 
There's another entrance to the place where you found the gates to the city. I hid the horn there. You need two keys to open it. I've found the first one, but the second key is still missing. Somewhere around here. You can look for it yourself. I give you permission to use whatever you need in my temple. And yes, the body of Yudnar is in the crypt. According to Bolden, the horn is stored somewhere here.
This device is used to measure liquids and powders. And here's the diagram for the gongs. Huh, what are those symbols down there? It looks like, hmm, some kind of password. I'm sorry, pal, but your body can sp her for another.
There it is. The elemental horn, finally. Although, it's not that simple. All I have to do now is summon Tarsus.
Well done, boy. I didn't think you could handle it. You're not as simple as you look at the first sight. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Are you there? What was your name? Fulner. Hey! <sighs> Sorry, man. I really, really tried. The body had probably been without life for too long. The morning is coming, and you haven't brought me the soul of my ancestor. Jim, why are you holding Ori's body? What's going on? Oh, sorry, Mom. I'm so sorry. I... I couldn't do anything with Fulner's soul. I was sure I could handle it, but I guess I was overconfident. I am not surprised that you failed. You've wasted my time. But I will not punish you out of respect for Susan the War Maiden, in gratitude for all her deeds in the name of the Lost Lands. I will simply let you go. Just let us go? Is that your generosity? We failed because you captured us here. The boy didn't bring the soul of Yudnar. There is no use for me to help you anymore. So what do we do now? <sighs> Let's just bury Uri. Fulner. Uri. I need to end it before I lose all my friends. Are we safe now? Uri? Uri? Who's Uri? Hey, it's me, Falner. <laughs> <laughs>